Hello, in this video, we're going to go through the process of getting WordPress set up, buying uh, the whole Munchies service and uh, domain and everything. So I'm going to show this on GoDaddy and with GoDaddy WordPress hosting. So you can go to godaddy.com slash hosting slash WordPress hosting and we'll take it from there. So I'm just going to buy the cheapest option because I really don't need <laughs> anything fancy for this uh, tutorial. I don't want any email inboxes. So go away. And for my purposes, I'm going to pay by month because I might not have this domain forever. Uh, you can choose 12 or 24 or 36 uh, to save some money. Continue. Oh, I didn't mean continue shopping. I meant to go to checkout, of course. So on the checkout page, I'm ready to pay. Great. And I'm just going to pause this video while I fill out everything. Now that is saved, I'm going to enter my card details. I'm going to pause again and uh, let's continue after. I have now completed the uh, purchase of the hosting and let's continue the account and let's get everything set up. Uh, I want to build a brand new website. I'm going to write blogs on this one. Continue. Optimize for speed, North America. Yes, please. Uh, pick a template. Yeah, I don't really care at the moment. I'll just select the first. I will change this anyways. Um, so select template. Create a uh, WordPress username. <clears throat> so this will be business admin. Yes, please. Site. Now it's going to create my WordPress site on some random GoDaddy domain. I'm going to pause the video while it does all this. All right. The WordPress site is ready. Um, let's just update. Wait. Go to. Okay. So this is standard interface WordPress site. Um, we are probably on this domain. Yeah. Let's go here and see. Awesome. I'm a life coach and mentor in Scottsdale. Great. So this is my WordPress site. At the moment, we need to update this so uh, we actually get a domain on it. So I'm going to log back in to um, the GoDaddy account and let's take it from there. OK, back on GoDaddy account. Um, this is my account and you can see now that I have a WordPress site. So this is the site we just um, bought, or the hosting we just bought. Now I'm going to press this and I want to add a domain. If you already have a domain, you can use um, that from your account. I'm going to buy a domain. So let's do learnbusiness.blog. And I always do this and see I misspelled my thingy. I'm pretty sure I didn't. Whoops, over here. Learnbusiness.blog. Let's continue. Yes, I want to buy this. Okay. Apparently, it froze. I'll just pause and see what happened. Okay, I simply could not buy a domain. Um, there was some problem on GoDaddy. So I went over to Namecheap, where I have all my other domains, and bought learnbusiness.blog from here. 
I will just route the domain from here over to the GoDaddy hosting. So we'll do that instead. If you have your domains on GoDaddy, then it's probably a lot easier to add a domain because then you can add domain and use a domain in my account. But we will add this one. No, it's not available. Uh, that's probably because it's too soon. I just want to route my domain over just a second. Great. So now um, it found out that I actually bought the domain and it tells me I need to create an A type uh, root DSN configuration over at my domain and put in these uh, settings. So let's do that. A type and then we'll do this IP and TTL. Okay. Domain, we go to advanced DNS. We will add a new record and a record for at IP. Um, ah, that is 3600. Mm -hmm. Just I'm not good at that's in seconds. So 36 divided by 60. OK, so that is 60 minutes. You could probably use automatic, but now that is set up. So we are rerouting. I would like to delete this one. Yes, please. So we only have one A record. It's the root domain. That's the at here. It's pointing at this domain. And that's the refresh uh, detail. So I'm done. Continue setup. Thank you. Now, while the DNS internet gods are rerouting, rerouting our uh, domain here, learn business.blog over to our GoDaddy web server, we will uh, do some setup in WordPress. I'll just show you a quick tip. If you don't want to have your root domain, what I mean by root domain is the top level domain we just bought. Um, not that one. Learn business dot blog. And if we would like the uh, if we would like the blog to live on info dot learn business dot blog, for example, then we would need to route info to this IP address. So instead of using the at, that's the root domain, we would uh, do add a record, a record, and then type info. Type this one in. There we go. And 60 minutes and press OK. Now we're routing info dot learn business dot block back to HostGator. But that's not what I want to do with this one. I want the top domain to be hosted right here. Great. OK, so now it's uh, halfway updated. I need to do this to it says I need to verify domain ownership of this domain by adding a TXT record uh, and then adding this text to the TXT record. Let's do that. So back at Namecheap, we go to uh, DNS. You have the same menu options probably in GoDaddy. We'll add a new record and find a TXT record. Add the value. Did it specify my host? Nope. Let's just add this. Okay. Then we'll do it at. Now we have the TXT record done. Let's recheck our SSL status. It does take some time to update these uh, records. So now if we waited, let's check. 
Not yet. Okay, I'll pause the video and then we'll continue. And now we are live. We are now verified that this is our main domain. And we can press on the edit site and we will be forwarded to our WordPress interface. Uh, yes, let's launch my site. That's fine. We don't really care. Okay, so now we are live. Um, we can do copy and then do control shift N for an incognito window. Let's just check it in incognito. Great. Live WordPress site. Beautiful. Inside, that's great. Inside our menu here, there are a few things that we need to change. And one of them is in settings, permalinks. And it's already set to that. That's great. Under this perma permalink structure for a blog, the best setup is this post name setup. And in a standard WordPress setup, you will actually get this one as your first uh, permalink structure. That's not great. You will want to have this one, but it's already set to this. So uh, awesome. Then we'll just go to general settings, change our name to site title, learn business. If I can spell learn business tagline, um, be better at business. I don't know. I'll make something more fancy later. <laughs> Great. Um, date format timing. Yeah, that's good. First day of week. Save that. So now you have a WordPress site. Congratulations. It took 12 minutes plus some wait time uh, on setting up the DNS. But uh, all in all, pretty fast to get a new website live.